Jason Fraun YouTube channel. I got to show you guys off. All right, so Ideal Tree Solution. Ideal Tree Solution. This guy hit me up and was like, I can't stand your trees. They look terrible. Because that's what all the trees look like in front of the shop. They're trimming them up. Look at all this that they already have off our trees. Dude, this is freaking fantastic. Best email ever. <laughs> Thank you. What areas do you guys serve? Uh, basically all of Tampa Bay, uh, Pasco, Manelas, and uh, Hillsborough. Okay, all right. Licensed so. and insured, and uh, nothing too big for us. Yeah, I know. He looks legit. He's got the helmet, the whole line. Oh, yeah. All right, so Ideal Tree Solutions. Yes, sir. Tampa Bay area. These guys hooked it up. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I can't believe you already have a trailer full and you guys aren't even done. Oh, I haven't even got on it yet. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Beautiful, dude. They look a little weird at first when you trim these puppies up a bunch, but they grow back and look perfect. He said that that's about five or six years of not being trimmed. Y'all worried about my back. I got them Coast Guard seats now. Check this out. So I got these from Backwater Boats and you can actually, you add and lower pressure in this sucker with like a tire pump. And then it goes like this. So that when you hit a wave in the front, the seat actually moves forward and down. Fancy. I'm gonna be honest. Fancy. After the Key West trip, my back was a little cooked. So we're getting that upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, I smash into a log at 50 mile an hour. Sure, sure. That might help you. Yeah, I got one for Maddie too, cause her back hurts too sometimes after <laughs> I hit too many logs in one day. So same seats and everything, but they'll just be mounted on these uh, shockwave deals. And then adding in a foot bar. While I was on the Key West trip, my sound bar ripped off of the top, you know, cause I was hitting those freaking massive waves. So we're just kind of getting this thing revamped. She took, she took a lot of abuse in that five or six month period that it was running. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, everything else is in pretty good shape. Looking pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ah, keys, keys. That's a Backsaber 9000 right there, boy. Hell yeah. I don't even think we have it adjusted right yet. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal, guys. I'm pissed. You know, the Marauder, Lost to a V8 R8. Piece of junk. So I have my laptop tonight. This thing's been backfiring on the shifts. All sorts of stuff that I don't like. So we're gonna go to the drag strip and this is gonna go one of two ways. I'm blowing this thing up or it's going 11s. You're gonna be there to witness. I feel entitled. Honestly, the thing, the way I've always just like my, the way my brain works, it could be trying to go personal best and bullet, or a personal best in a 12 second, hopefully 11 second car. And it's just as exciting for me for some reason. So, Marauders going 11s today. That's the goal, which okay. may require turning up the boost mums, a smidge mums. What boost? The, yeah, oh yeah, the air conditioning. We gotta turn the air conditioning up. Yes. A couple that, PSI. That'll change everything. You're darn right it will. That'll pick up some speed. Yup, 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 yup. All right. All right. Guys, I found a problem. <clears throat> What's the issue? Doesn't have anything to do with my computer. It has nothing to do with this cord either. But basically, the rev limiter was set right above the shift point, so I think the car was just kind of creeping over the shift point and then hit the rev limiter and that was that big pop. So I raised rev limiter, didn't lower the shift point. I also found out that the boost controller may not have been set where I wanted it to. Maybe a little bit lower than it should be this whole time. So I'm just gonna leave a lot of this stuff alone. We're gonna get a data log of the air conditioning's information on this bone stock Marauder mm -hmm. and then we'll make some adjustments. But it might go 11s without just backfiring, so we'll see. Are you going to show us? It's go time. Oh. Now this stuff's, I'm just writing an email. Oh, okay. Yeah. See you right. up there. All right, see you there. All right, guys. We're doing this. Ah, uh, see, my cord's going to be stuck in the window. We're data logging. Let's pull up and get a nice little burnout going. Ha <laughs> ha 
Alright, here we go, boys. in the boost department but we have a data of them thanks man appreciate you 1175 boys are you serious yeah dude that mile an hour 94 mile an hour in the eighth that is a week those are weak numbers dude i bet you this thing could run a 10 100 so 1175 at 118 118 mile an hour that's getting down boy all right, so we gotta get the short track down on that. We had a 1860 foot, technically 179. So I'd really like to pump those numbers up. Hard not to be fired up about that. Mission accomplished, first rip. So, no pressure's good, no attempt's good. 1175 though, what did I say? I wanted to go on 11? I know, you did it. Knocked off like a second Woo. over last time we were here just because of that backfire. I want to see how much pressure was in the air conditioning, how many PSIs, you know, being that it's stock, you gotta use the air conditioning and tune it. Right. See how much PSI that made, and then maybe turn up the air conditioning for the next run. Yeah, okay. full blast. Boys, Woo. guys, we're talking 11.3 pounds of air conditioning. 11.3. Didn't even leave on a pound of boost left on actually zero PSI of air conditioning. We were right at vacuum. I'm gonna try and heat the brakes up before I go up there. Let this sucker eat. 20, oil pressure, mint, fuel pressure, good. Duty cycle only 60%, 63%. Let's try and throw some more air conditioning at this puppy. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. I named this email to my car Spicy Deluxe. So let's see if it's spicy. The way I see this is that we got a lot of fuel left. You know, like we got a lot of decent bit of fuel system left. I think. We'll see how this one goes. And I say we use every bit of it because I think we got enough air conditioning. All right, let's get a nice little another burnout here. All right, he said this was a spicy tune, so uh, let's see what it pulls. All right, brakes are a little warmer now. That's good. Oh, back windows are down. All right, come on. I'd like to build a little bit of air conditioning. Oh, baby. too hot brother no it didn't work out well hot dang 
That was probably the heaviest backfire I think it's ever had. Did <laughs> it you was, see the fireball? The fireball was A bunch huge. of people told me about it. But look, <laughs> it's raining. Yep. Real tough break situation. Classic. Happens to us every time we try and drag race in the summer in Florida, but it's all good. We got some runs in. At least I have a data log of it backfiring now, and uh, I think I can fix it. So I guess it's not the rev longer. I thought it was. Guys, after digging into the data log, we found a couple things that may be the problem here. The car might be losing crank signal for just a split second, so it has no RPM signal, causing a backfire. And the other thing is it's getting an oil pressure dip on the 60 foot because it's just taking off so fast now. And there's a timing offset table for low oil pressure and it yanks out like 20 degrees of timing. That could be causing it. So I'm gonna try running it with more oil in it and also doing a different type of data log that allows me to see the crank signal. And we're gonna go from there, see if it helps. But that's it for today, guys. A little Marauder action for you. Thanks for watching. Do it for today. We'll freaking see you later.